There are three types of analytics and these are descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive analytics. In this video, we first define and know the first type of analytics which is the descriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics answers the questions what happened and why it happened. This type of analytics provides information from past and historical data. An example of descriptive analytics output are stochastic reports such as daily, monthly, and quarterly reports. It describes information from data in the past. It was supported by IBM Global for Smarter Analytics, 2013. That descriptive analytics answers the questions what happened and why it happened. Looks at the past data or historical data. Understand and find reasons what really happened and why it happened. Almost all management reporting such as sales, marketing, operations and finance, uses this type analytics model. The process involved in descriptive analytics are first, collection of data. Second is analysis of data and provide and generate reports. For the first process, we need data to be collected. Data repository is needed to access for essential data. In analyze process, we need to analyze the data we collected, analyze data model to assess and query the data collected in the process. For the last process, business users can choose the required reports such as sales, financial, distributions, inventory, and others then we can have smart decisions. We need to decide the ways on how we analyze the data. Analytics can allow managers to create a better and smarter decisions. Here are some common applications of descriptive analytics. First, summarizing past events such as regional sales, customer attrition, or success of marketing campaigns. Another is tabulation of social metrics such as Facebook likes, tweets, or followers. Lastly is reporting of general trends like hot travel destinations or news trends. So, now can you give some examples of descriptive analytics applications? The next video will tackle predictive analytics.